I'm Frankie Gino of Tag91.1, and I was able to take a short trip to the city of Vienna in Austria. This video is the second part of my travels. If you haven't seen it yet, you can watch part one by clicking here. In the first episode, we tried some wieners, swung by the Schonbrunn, and ate some cake. Now refreshed, we continue on our journey. Vienna is a beautiful city, and even more so at night. The bright neon colors provide a stark contrast to the old architecture. It's an aesthetically pleasing blend of old and new. And, very importantly, there's a wide variety of food options, from the fast, to the sit-down, and to the street. You're not short on choice of when and what to eat. But this is October, and our next objective is clear. The Wiener Weizenfest at the Kaiserweiss. This is a celebration of local food, drink, and music, much like the famed Oktoberfest in neighboring Germany. The men will wear their Lederhosen, the women their dirndls, and everyone just has a great time eating, drinking, socializing, or watching live performances from their local musicians. Of course, we know what we're here for. We see a decent sized line and some great looking food, so we find a place to settle. To the non-German speaker though, you might have to ask a few questions. We order the famous Bavarian pretzel, some more Vienna sausage, and a Wiener Praterstelzen Semmel. Basically, it's a sausage sandwich on a Kaiser roll. Now, I don't know if it's the weather, the fatigue, or the fun atmosphere, but this is easily the best thing I've eaten all day. If I were by myself, I probably would have eaten too. And if you're feeling thirsty, there's plenty of nice, cold, refreshing water to wash it all down. It's definitely a good time. Look at this poor guy, exhausted from all the fun he's had. Now, the night is still young, but I'm not, and we still have some more to do tomorrow. So it's time to head back to the hotel and call it a day. The streets are relatively quiet on a Sunday morning, which means it's a good time to do a bit of detox. After a quick shower and some breakfast, we go to our next destination, the gardens of the Belvedere Palace. Filled with statues, and more statues, and yet another even more stunning landscape. Seriously, I could probably spend hours admiring the scenery here, which it seems many people here seem to be doing. This is like the perfect place for a wedding pictorial. Yeah, these people have the right idea. The palace, now a museum, is home to the largest collection of Austrian art, including works by Gustav Klimt, whose most famous pieces are The Kiss and Judith. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to go inside, so we have to settle for this. Another thing that struck me was the number of people who were going for a run, like this guy, and these two, and this lady over here, and those three way over there. No wonder people here are so fit and healthy looking. But then again, if you had the chance to jog through a fairy tale garden, wouldn't you be inspired to go running? It's time to go back and prepare for the trip home. But before that, let's go say hi to Kuya John, who has been here in Vienna for more than 20 years, and Kuya Ruben, who's been there for almost three decades. They also want to say hi to some people over here in Dubai. <laughs> Hello, Amado. Regards from Vienna. And that's that for our trip to Vienna, Austria. Short and sweet, but one day really isn't enough. We hop on a bus back to the airport, and then board a plane for a ride back home. If you do plan on visiting Vienna, I'd recommend you go during the summer as there are a number of free concerts, exhibitions, and outdoor events. Also, if you have more time, you can take day trips to nearby Salzburg, Prague, Budapest, or Bratislava. Thanks for watching this episode of The Craving Traveler. Until next time.